it's Kitty and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another first impressions and I'm super excited about that because I love filming these videos. So today's first impression is going to be on the Hourglass Stick Foundation. I do have another sample of this. My mom got this in her Sephora play box. She was like, oh I don't really like stick foundation so she gave it to me naturally and I'm like, yup have to do a first impressions. And I know my last foundation was another hourglass foundation, so that's kind of funny. And I have mine in the shade Shell. I'm just gonna get out of this packaging. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's a little bit different than the packaging on the, like, on the full size of this foundation, but they are pretty similar. And yeah, that's what it looks like. And then I'll show you how much product you get. That's a pretty good amount of product. I feel like stick foundations generally are fuller coverage, so you probably won't need too much. So yeah, yeah, now I'm gonna read you like, the claims, kind of more about this product and stuff like that. It has over 3,000 reviews on Sephora.com if you're curious about that. And it has about four stars. And the shade I got is called Shell and that is light with neutral undertones, which is perfect for me. And the full size of this product has about 0.25 ounces in that, which is typical for a stick foundation. They don't usually have the one ounce of product in them. And now let's read more about this product. So this foundation gives you medium to full coverage. It's for all skin types and it has a satin finish. So what is this foundation? It's a long wearing foundation stick with the coverage of concealer, fluidity of a liquid, and a weightless of a powder for visible full coverage. And you're supposed to get 12 hours of wear with this. It's supposed to be a waterproof formula. And the innovative formula adjusts to your body temperature to effortlessly blend into the skin. And if you're curious, this retails for $46. I don't know if you can buy the mini if you want to try it out. I think it might just be like a thing for subscription boxes. So yeah, if you want to see my first impressions and kind of my review throughout the day of this Hourglass Stick Foundation, you're in the right place. Just keep on watching. Okay, so application wise, they say to use their like hourglass brush that they made for this foundation. But of course, I don't have that brush. So I'm going to use my favorite brushes. So on that side of my face, I'm going to use my Real Techniques Diamond Sponge. I know like usually for stick foundations, they don't recommend you use sponges but I want to try it out and everything and then on this side I'm going to use my favorite foundation brush which is the Real Techniques buffing brush I love this brush it's like my go-to foundation brush okay so now I'm just gonna get on to applying this foundation so I think what I'm going to do is just do triangles I didn't mean to do it on my whole face but that's what we're doing and now on to blending I don't know like how how I'm supposed to blend this, but I'm just going to, I guess, pat it in and then buff it in. We'll kind of see like how it looks after. I'm meant to do one side by one side, but you know, this is what we're gonna be doing. So now I'm gonna use a sponge. I think each side is blending out well. I think the sponge might not be blending as easy per se, but I think it's still blending. Also before I get into like how this looks, I have acne prone skin as you can see and I mostly have scarring on my face. I kind of have flare ups where my acne is really good and really bad and stuff like that. And I have combo skin. Sometimes I'm more oily, sometimes I'm more dry. kind of depends and everything, but it's mostly a combination. So that's kind of my skin type. And I wouldn't say I have sensitive skin. Sometimes my skin can be sensitive to certain products, but I don't have like super ultra sensitive skin. Now onto how this looks. I honestly like both sides. Of course, I'm getting more coverage with the brush side. That's kind of to be said just because brushes usually give more coverage, but I don't hate the sponge side either. I think they're both really good. I'll probably go in with the brush and then blend over with my sponge, but so far so good. And with one layer, it still looks pretty good we still have a little bit to cover but I definitely think it's not bad so I'm just gonna buy more of the foundation especially to right there mostly gonna be applying it to where I need it okay so yeah now I'm going to blend this all over my face so I'm mostly gonna be patting it in just because I feel like that's the best way and yeah I definitely think this is buildable and everything from just using it so far I definitely think you can get really good coverage I definitely think it doesn't feel heavy it feels just 
generally lightweight. And also, some foundations, I feel like they dry too fast, and I don't feel like this, like, dries all that much. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't dry too fast. And by the way, I have used stick foundation before. I've used the Maybelline Fit Me Stick Foundation, but that came out years ago I got that. And I loved that foundation and everything. Okay, so I just finished my foundation. I think I did about two layers, and I got pretty full coverage. I just feel like it blended very well with the sponge and the brush. I did prefer the brush, then I just went over my face with my sponge to kind of like get rid of that cakiness. I didn't feel like it was super cakey, but like around like my lips, I did find a little bit cakey, but with that sponge, I took that away. And I really love the coverage. I think it's really good coverage. It definitely would say it gives you like a medium to full coverage. And so far, so good. It feels just very soft to the touch. It does have a demi matte like finish. And I don't feel like I need powder, but I probably will just powder just because that's what I do. But I'm so impressed so far, so I'm excited to see like how it lasts throughout the day. It is about 10.06 right now, so I am going to call the check on time 10 o'clock, and I'm going to check in with you after I finish my makeup, and I'm also going to give you some close-ups of my face so you can see the foundation all close up. So yeah, here are your close-ups. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished my makeup and I'll get into like what's on my face in a second here. So I feel like the foundation looks really good. I really like it. I really like how it looks with my other products and I really just love how it looks in general. It feels very light to my face. I honestly don't feel like I am wearing anything on my face. I honestly don't. Like it doesn't feel like anything, which I love. Some foundations, they can feel like have something on your face and I don't like that at all. I just don't like the feeling of that. So now let's talk about what's on my face. I'm going to share everything that's on my face with you. So for concealer, I used my NYX HD concealer. I mixed a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape, but I actually ran out of that. So I mostly used my NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. And then I set my under eyes with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD the micro finishing pressed powder. It's just like a white powder like you would imagine. And I use that on everywhere I put concealer, so under my eyes and then on the center of my face. And then I use a tiny bit of my Bare Minerals Matte Powder to set my face. I always set my face. It doesn't matter like if I don't feel like I need powder. And then over that, I use my Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact. I like this because sometimes like if it looks too powdery, this kind of takes that away. It's just that matte transparent powder. For highlight, I use my Smashbox Spotlight Palette in Pearl by Casey Holmes. I'm sure you've seen this before, but that's what it looks like. I use that for highlight pretty much every day. For blush today, I use the Tarte Risqué blush, which is one of my favorites. I contoured with the first two shades in my Profusion Contour Palette. And for eyeshadow, I used a mix of the Laura Pro Palette. That is my Panda Palette, and I'm slacking on it, so I'm trying to get back into it. And then I use my Kathleen and Morphe Palette. I know you can't get this anymore, but this is what I use and I'm going to be real about it. Mascara, I use the L'Oreal Luminous Slash Paradise Mascara, which is one of my favorites. And then over the top, a tiny bit, I used my Maybelline Big Shot Colossal. Brows, I did use a little bit of shadow from the L'Oreal Pro Palette. And then to set my eyebrows, I used my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. And then lastly, for my lips, I used the Tardis Lip Paint in, in a Festival. I love this color. I've been using this these past couple days, and I feel like it's my new favorite. And so that's everything that I used on my face. I'll I'll also have it listed down below if you want to like, you know, just check it out and everything like that. I love how everything looks together and everything. I feel like everything just really mixes together. I really like how it looks. And yeah, like I said, it is about 10.54 right now. I'm probably going to check in with you in a couple hours, probably at the two or three hour mark. And yeah, I'm just going to be doing some filming and stuff like that and kind of just organizing because I'm going to college in just a couple weeks. So yeah, I will see you in a few hours. Okay, so I'm here for my first check-in it is about one o'clock right now so the foundation has been on for three hours and I don't really feel like anything has changed I am recording this vlog style so I feel like maybe the foundation doesn't look a hundred percent accurate like I feel like I'm more I have more coverage on my forehead I don't feel like anything's peeking through on my forehead but this is what the foundation is looking like I think it looks really good I'm gonna get really close to show you a view of everything and yeah this is what it is looking like like and everything I feel like it looks really good I don't think anything is really changed or anything I feel like it looks 
pretty much close to the same. Probably check in again at the five hour mark probably or six hour mark, I'm not really sure. So yeah, this is kind of a quick update. I don't think anything's changed. I think maybe I got a little bit more glowy in certain spots, but honestly, I don't think it's changed. I still like it. Okay, so I'm standing in front of a mirror this time just so I can look into the mirror and kind of give you an update. Okay, so the foundation has been on for about six and a half hours. It's about 4.30 right now, I think. And yes, this is what it's looking like in all views. It looks really weird on camera, but it doesn't look this weird in person. The only thing that I can tell is my nose. It has broken up on the sides everywhere and it's a little bit dry right here and then a little bit of breaking up right here but not too much and then it's not too bad like in person right here like i think i've lost coverage on my cheeks but it's not like as bad as it's looking on camera so yeah that's kind of my update right now i'm not really sure i'm gonna check in with you i think the next check-in will be at the end of the night because i don't really have much to say right now okay so foundation has been on for 12 hours it's not looking too bad in this angle i feel like it's looking pretty good to representation honestly i thought it'd look way worse at the end of the night just because i feel like some foundations like they just don't last up to that 12 hours it's definitely better than that other hourglass foundation i tried out that one was not so good i only wore that for 10 hours i believe and yes this is what it's looking like like i said i think it looks better in this angle yeah i think it does yeah i'm really impressed with it like i said it's better than the other hourglass foundation i tried this is what it looks like um a little bit of coverage has been peeking through just through hours probably like 11 and 12 so like now and yeah i'm a tad bit oily um it's probably creasing in certain areas or not like creasing but coverage is being lifted i guess we could say and freckles on my nose are definitely showing through but other than that like the like disappearing i guess of areas it's looking really good especially from further away like when i look from this angle so definitely pros i love how it applied i think it was very easy to apply it was very quick it blended out very well with a brush and pretty well with a sponge it's lightweight it it doesn't transfer too much once it dries i think it does a little bit when it's first drying i can't really think of any cons personally yes i know it is like disappearing from certain areas it's breaking up maybe a tad bit but that's expected with wearing it for like 10 to 12 hours i can't really think of any real cons like i just can't i think it did like get a little bit of dry around here so i guess that could be a con but i don't find any huge cons with this foundation the lighting is terrible but you know that's just what you get sometimes but the lighting's terrible and that's kind of what you get sometimes with this foundation i definitely rate this a a high eight if not a nine I definitely think it was really good i'll definitely try to use this sample up and you know try it out with other primers see if i can make it last even longer or less better and i'll definitely use it more and you know test it out more so yeah that's gonna be it for my first impression on this foundation okay i'm gonna try to get through the outro with the little bit of light i have left so anyways if you liked this first impression type video please give it a thumbs up and comment down below your opinions on this foundation if you have tried it i'd love to hear about it let me know your skin type and everything like that so we can just get like other people's opinions like so we have more than one i guess opinion on a skin type and stuff like that and also let me know any other first impressions you'd like to see next any foundations or just anything around just anything like that and please subscribe if you haven't already because I post videos every single week and I would just love for you to be subscribed to my channel and also ring that bell down below to be notified just click on it and stuff like that and that way you can be notified when I post videos and yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you're having a great day night whenever you're watching this and I will see you in my next video bye I'll just look that up <laughs> on the Sephora <laughs> and then I used Woo.